Hey everybody, what's up? Dr. Nick here with a new PSA for you on May the 26th, 2022. And I still hope you all are having a great day. And this PSA is more of a question. And it's this, can all women squirt now? And the reason I want to ask that question is because over the past few months and past few years, I keep seeing these articles come out typically written by other women who are saying, yes, you two can squirt. Let me teach you how. And if you do these four or five things at the end, you should be able to squirt. Let's talk about that today. Well, for me, I first heard of squirting way back when in 1995, when I read Beverly Whipple's book called The G-Spot. And I believe that came out way back in 1980. And in that book, there was that 10% number which said that 10% of women had a G-spot, which would enable them to female ejaculate or squirt. And now this newer data is saying between 10% of women to 54% of women have the ability to squirt. So in other words, either around one in 10 women can squirt or more than half of women out there can squirt. And right off the bat, those numbers really don't make any sense. So very quickly, let's talk about biology here just for a hot second. And it's believed that the fluid that comes from squirting originates in something called the skein's glands. And just like women come in various sizes, these skein's glands also come in various sizes. Some are extremely tiny to the point of of almost being non-existent and others are larger. Therefore, you would think the skein's gland that, that are larger are able to hold more fluid. So this is my opinion here. So if you are able to stimulate the Grafenberg spot or G spot and she has an orgasm, it may cause the muscles around the skein's glands to contract and therefore it will expel fluid. So here is where biology actually comes into play. Samantha Evans, who is a sex educator, she says this, the varying levels of development and the size of these glands between individuals may partially explain why some women experience dramatic ejaculations while others do not. And to take this a step further, there was an article written by Dr. Jessica Shepard, MD, in Essence Magazine, and she had to say this, quote, Every woman can't learn how to do it. Either you have what we call an ejaculation or a squirting gland, or you don't. If you don't, then how are you going to increase your ejacul- ejaculatory fluid that you make? That's why it's hard. How would I tell someone to increase it? There's really no way. Your glands are your glands, unquote. So let's look at it this way. Biologically, if you don't have the proper equipment to squirt, you're just not going to be able to squirt. And you know what? That's okay too. But there's still a problem. But one of my main concerns is this. I wonder if women are being put under undue pressure to squirt to the point where squirting is now being baked in to the sexual script of this society. And that's not going to be good for anybody. But think about it like this, because in porn, you see women squirting up in the air, seven, eight, nine, ten feet. But. As I said earlier, screen's glands are different sizes. So it's very possible that this, that your partner or a lady may have very tiny screen's glands and a partner is stimulating her G spot and she actually is squirting, but it's such a small amount. It's almost like it doesn't count when compared to the ladies who you see in those porn videos. So in closing, I want to make two quick points. And my first point is this. I believe that many of the sex educators out there who are telling women that they can squirt too 
are actually doing a disservice because biologically, no matter what they do, some women will never be able to squirt. And my second point is more of a question. For those women who are unable to squirt, how are they going to feel? Especially when their partner is putting pressure on them now to squirt and biologically they are, in, they are unable to squirt. So to some of these sex educators out there, please be careful in the messages that you are putting out. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon.